Hello, welcome back to my vlogs. Um, I've had some really good news. Um, a few days ago, I had another physio appointment, um, and it was a gym session. So I'm um, they're slowly getting me into that. And what it was was my physio wanted to go along with me to the hospital's physio gym um, to test out test me on some of the machines to see which machines would be best for me and what exercises would be best for me. Um, I had to go on the cycle machine and I did quite well on that. Um, I had to go on weight machines and all sorts like that um, and it went really well and she said I have to have one more session with her in the gym just so she can make sure that the machines I'm using and the exercises I'm doing are right for me and to make sure that I'm getting on okay with them. Then once that session is over, she's going to be handing me over to the physio gym team. So then I'll be going once a week to the physio gym and we'll be doing a session once a week there. And then also at home, I, she's given me exercises to do at home each day as well. Um, but you might be thinking, why is there a bicycle in the background? Um, well, that's because I spoke to uh, the physio about my bicycle. Because I was riding the cycle machine and doing quite well, I, had, I kind of discussed my push bike with her. And she said, yeah, I don't see why there would be a problem with you riding, you know, as long as I don't go too crazy, like doing stunts or speeding along the road or something, you know, it shouldn't be too bad. So she said that I'm allowed to ride my bike again. Um, so I'll be starting that, like maybe once or twice a week for a couple of minutes and then gradually increasing it as I get stronger and my legs get stronger and everything. So that's all really, really good news. So I'm kind of progressing with that and I'm kind of feeling better in myself. I think that's probably because where it's summer, uh, we've had warmer weather and of course my joints have been feeling a bit better because the cold hasn't been getting to them because there hasn't been really any cold um so and obviously where i've finally now been properly diagnosed they are now able to give me the proper um treatment that i need um so that's all being sorted out um so that's really good um but today what i was going to do is just I've got my bike out of storage, um, I haven't ridden it in over a year, I think nearly two years now, um, so it's quite dusty, if you come over here I'll show you, um, look here, you can see, that lovely load of dust, <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm just basically going to be cleaning it up today, um, oiling it, making sure the, the bolts are tight and pumping up the tyres and all that lot and kind of fixing it up and cleaning it up so that it's safe for me to ride. Um, so yeah, I'll be riding with my sister. I'm going to hopefully be going out a few times with her, um, just along the shore here, there's a nice long cycle path uh, that goes right along the shoreline, so I'll be go riding along there with my sister, um, and yes this is the same sister I've talked about before on in some of my other videos, the sister that is registered blind. <laughs> So you might think, oh God, you know, if she's registered blind, how can she ride a bike? Well, she 
as I've explained in some of my videos before, she can see a little. I'm not quite sure what she can see, obviously because I'm not her, only she knows what she can see. Um, but she has kind of said to me before, it's hard to describe what she can see because she's got nothing to reference it to because she's been blind all her life so she doesn't know what it's like to be able to fully see so she doesn't know how to compare if that makes sense but she i'm i think what it is is she can see light and shadow and she can make out shapes um so you know and she rides her bike she does all right she's not had any major accidents nothing like that so you know she takes it slow she's she's like me she doesn't uh, you know go racing along the road and she tries to stay away from main roads on her bike so she'll stick to little cycle paths that are out of the way where there's hardly or no cars so and i think it's really good that she's not letting her disability stop her from doing something she likes to do so but as you can see my bike um this is uh I, this is a custom american import uh it's by electra they're a really good company really good brand because um if you go on their website you will see they do all sorts of different bike parts and you can buy each part and you can build a bike to your specifications and to your needs. So mine I've kind of had built to my specifications and needs. So if you have a look, these big wide handles are much better for my arms and shoulders and the fact that I can sit upright like this that means there's less pressure on my shoulders my arms and my back um with a normal mountain bike like one my partner's got the handles are here and i'd have to lean forward that puts a lot of pressure on my neck my shoulders my wrists my arms and my back and my hips so having a bike like this with longer handles where I can sit upright properly is a lot, lot better for me. And as you can see, I don't have any gears because gears confuse me and they are a pain in the bum to fix. And they're just, for me, they're just a waste of time gears. You know, I only need one gear. This bike go, it's, it's a nice ride. It's a smooth ride. Um, you know, it's easy enough for me to pedal, but still, it's challenging, if you know what I mean. So it's right for me. Um, so yeah, it's a really good bike. So if you, if you are disabled, um, or you have health problems, do, and you like to ride bikes, do look up Electra. You can, they have all sorts of stuff on there. Um, you can get the beach cruiser style handles and frame like this um they do the chopper style bikes they do town bikes they do mountain bikes they do all sorts on that um and also they do some decorative stuff so if you wanted tassels or mud guards or bells or they even do it with this, you can get different saddles with pictures like flames and yin yangs and stuff like that on them. You can even get a saddle where they stitch your name into it across here. So that's what I'm aiming to get soon, a saddle with my name on it. Um, and I want some nice big mud guards with a dress protector and everything. I don't wear a dress, but the dress protectors they've got look really cool because they have nice, cool, big patterns and designs on them. So, yeah, it's really, really, really good brand of bike. 
Um, I've got to fix this up a bit. Listen to this. My bow, my bow needs a bit of work. <laughs> it kind of sounds like a a sick frog. Bless you, frog. So that needs a bit of probably oiling and. Oh uh, yeah, that needs loosening off a bit because that's too tight. I'll have to get the pliers to that in a minute. Yeah, that's too tight. See, this need people think that needs to be tight. That bolt there it doesn't. It needs to be loose to give this a chance to move properly because it's too far down. It needs to be the hammers need to be up higher so they can hit the bell properly and where that's too tight they're not up the hammers aren't up high enough so that means a bit of loosening off and a bit of oiling i think and a bit of cleaning there's a lot of dust in there so yeah that is a retro bell which i got from electra usually it makes a nice ringing sound but sounds like a sick frog at the moment but yeah so Today I'm just going to be cleaning this up, boiling it and tightening up any bolts and again, sorting these tyres out because they are flatter than a pancake. Not going to go anywhere fast on them tyres. But yeah, so I've had some really good news. Um, the physio is working out really well. Um, I'm really pleased with that and I quite enjoyed doing the gym. Um, I got to play with a giant bouncy ball. <laughs> um, but yeah, so hopefully, I'm hoping that if I can kidnap my sister and her bike for a day, we might be able to go bike riding and I might do a video with my sister whilst we're bike riding because it would be really cool to talk to my sister about um her blindness and about how she gets on with riding her bike and things so that'd be really cool so yeah thanks for watching everyone i'm gonna get on with sorting this mess out um thanks for watching see you all later bye bye